for, for myself, last question. What what do you think, uh, like as a time, let's say a time traveler comes, what kind of news would this time traveler give you over the next year where you feel, wow, like this is crypto news that doesn't surprise you by that time traveler? Your interview with Julian was incredible. It was awesome. <laughs> it was off the charts. Great. What else did they tell me? Yeah, I, I, I think I think the shocking part is going to be that there's a lot of applications that we now take for granted that were really hot you know, DocuSign, Carta, all these other things that are going to be um, disintermediated by blockchain and smart contracts. People don't realize um, the things that decentralization, decentralized governance and um, blockchain and smart contract can do yet. And they don't realize how simple they are. They're not overly complex things. Um, now, security is not easy, right? It, it's hard to do right because you're continuously, wherever the money is, it's continuously under attack. But you know, just think whether it's Germany, United States for insurance claims, right? You know, if the government's approving your medical um, tr transaction, you know, you you broke an arm, right? And, or your, your kid breaks an arm and you go to the emergency room and somebody's got to approve those transactions in the government or the insurance uh, claims in our cases. And rather than having five people sitting at a desk, you know, that work for the insurance companies trying to find reasons not to approve it, um, you have a decentralized insurance company where it's set to a smart contract and, you know, the eight people that validate it, approve it, they don't know each other and mm. boom, it's approved in minutes. Um, obviously, and I, just one follow up there as a medical doctor, for me, obviously what's happening right now with COVID, I, that was always like an idea to have like those vaccination stamps on a blockchain or something. Singapore is starting this right now. Do you see anything like that in the US right now or? No, because the US freaks out about shit like that. You know? Why? Why? Because of data protection or, or, or why? Or, or just in general? Not even data protection. It's just in general, just like the freedom, the liberty thing. They're, you know, they're, they're trying to take our liberties away. You know, it, it's just like, you know, yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, it's not good, right? And so mm. that's just culturally where we're different. Um, but vaccines hopefully are transient. You know, we, we've, you know, obviously COVID's been awful, but, you know, by the summer, hopefully everybody who wants a vaccine can get a vaccine and it's not an issue because we never had to really track flu vaccines like that, mm -hmm. you know, or, or chicken box vaccines like that. Yeah. And so um, I don't know what it'll be for vaccines, but just like on your iPhone, if you have eye health, um, and there's different information and basic information. There's no reason Apple can offer to put that on a blockchain and give you the option of making it public at some level. Um, and that way, if you're, you know, it's like the bracelets, the, um, the diabetes or whatever bracelets that people have, that's better on blockchain, right? Where you can have your own picture and some, your social security number, whatever that's encrypted with some key to unlock it mm -hmm. and some parts of it public that you're willing to share you know, that I have diabetes or yes, that should be on a, on a blockchain. The problem is, you know, not all blockchains are going to survive. Yeah. And, and so you, you know, if you pick the wrong blockchain um, and there's not like a centralized internet archive to protect everything, then there, there can be challenges there.